Okay then. Looks like everything is good here. Just getting myself set up. Today is Sunday and it is the 31st of March. So definitely today I know is a holiday for a lot of people. I know that probably a lot of people are spending time with their family, maybe just relaxing. So I hope that for anyone who joins me today that you're doing okay. I hope that you're doing well. I hope everything is good with you. I I generally don't celebrate too many holidays, so for me this is just kind of another Sunday for me. This is just another calm day. But it got, like I said, I know other people celebrate holidays with their families. So today I'm kind of just moving a few things off my desk. I do have a lot of <laughs> I have a lot of art supplies here. I've been making a lot of art journals and so that of course it's a wonderful wonderful mess over here i've got all of my supplies so i'm just going to kind of move those out of the way i've got my art journal here i've got my art journal here and i'm going to play with it hi zen mama hello thank you for joining me today so i'm just i i had a good time the last few days at least been spending a lot of time just with family just being just, just trying to relax, so that's been nice. And today is kind of like a do-nothing day. I just tidied up a little bit, spent some time with my husband, so today's gonna be nice and calm. I'm glad to have some time to draw today, of course. There we go, okay, so most of these things are off my desk. I'm glad to have some time to draw today, just because I've been doing so much stuff <laughs> these last few days, so this will be nice. Uh, I really didn't have too much time to draw. This is the one we did last time right here. Yeah. Hi, Jude. Hello. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you, Jude. Yeah. <laughs> Zen Mama, surviving the rain. Yeah, it's been kind of nice. Yeah, the rain has been kind of on and off for the last few days, and it's just a nice little, nice little rain. Soon enough, we won't have rain, and there won't be any rain for the rest of the year. So it's nice to kind of have it now. But yeah, hello there. Hi, uh, from Denmark. Uh, how do you pronounce your name? But Be Berit? Berit? I'm not sure. But yeah, hello there. Hi. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, I added a little bit of detail to the one we did last time. Just a little bit more. Some stippling. But really not much other than that. I think I added some grays just to add to it a little bit. But yeah, that's kind of all I did. I worked on this one on this page. So yeah, it's just kind of did a little bit here and there. Yeah, hi everyone. Hi James. Hello there. <laughs> a little bit of sparkles, huh? All these little shiny things here. But yeah, that turned out all right. Played around with this one. Uh, these would have been for Friday and Saturday, but like I said, I was busy. So I will be leaving these for later for where something shows up blank page. This was the spare ink. I kind of just threw it all here. I might just leave this. There's there's always that, of course, yeah. So just lots of ideas, lots of different things to think about, yeah. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Hi, Sabina. <laughs> yeah, artsy people here today. Yeah, it's gonna be just a nice calm day. Uh, this is the one that's for today. I believe this is the one for today. I'm trying to track like what the days would have been. I know it doesn't have to be perfect, but this is the one that would be for today, for Sunday. And yeah, I'm just going to be using this one to uh, just kind of do some freehand doodling. I, I, I do enjoy those days when it's just anything could happen. I know that it's, that's pretty common for me that I could just do anything on any day. But it is just nice to kind of make all sorts of just really unpredictable shapes and just try to see what happens with those. So I'm going to show you something that I do sometimes that kind of helps with that. So in this case today, I am only using a pen. So this is my trusty, simple kind of office pen. It's just got this little point to it and it's got this kind of liquid ink. So nothing special, just going to be actually doodling today, just freehand. Yeah, just doodling. So again, I hope you're all doing well. I hope today's a good Sunday for all of you. We're just going to kind of relax for a little while here. 
Let me make sure I turn on my other light. It's a little dim over here. Got to have lots of lights. There we go. Just a little bit easier to see. I still have paint everywhere, so that's nice. I tried cleaning up, but I really need to kind of pick up the mat and get some of that paint. So I'm just going to start making some kind of just lines that maybe connect or don't connect. And I'm just going to use those in a sec. And as you can see, it's pretty just whatever. It's almost like imagine if you're drawing a map of some made up continent. And I'm just letting it squiggle. I'm just going to do these a handful of times. You'll see it actually happens fairly quickly. It's very intuitive. And then I'll decide to kind of go around and shade and stipple and add line work wherever kind of my mind just tells me to go. So this is a really nice way to just learn to let go and not worry about your design, not worry about, uh, it's in a sense, like trying to make anything incredibly identifiable. I, at least I enjoy doing this. So we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. We will see. It might be interesting. Some parts might look cute. Some parts might look a little odd. So let's see here. I'm going to add just some, add a few over here. Very, very abstract, very loose and weird. Nothing specific. Just whatever my hand feels like drawing at the moment. So this is kind of just like a, uh, what would I call it? Just like a foundation for me to, to kind of work with. And so I think at this point, there's some blank spaces, but I'm going to leave them. It's okay to have blank spaces. And then what I kind of want to do is just start playing around with some of these strange little crannies that got created. So like right here, I could add some lines. Now it looks a little bit like a petal. And so I'm just going to start kind of, in a sense, shading. So you'll notice I'm just going to start adding lines inside of here. They don't have to touch. You can make your lines touch if you want, make them kind of connect in a particular way, but I'm not going to do that. I just want to see what happens. So yeah, just kind of some kind of crazy hatching there. See? See what happens with that. <clears throat> Let's see here. Some old fashioned stippling. I don't know if you're if you like to do any kind of stippling. That's always nice. I'll start kind of adding a gradient here inside of there. Just a little bit of a gradient. If I have time, I might add some some color, but I feel like that might not happen today today I'm just gonna have you happy interacting with just one pen one pen on the paper so there's some stippling for now I'm gonna keep going with the stippling just a tiny bit just a little bit just a little bit just see what happens I may play with the the weight the weight of the lines a little bit too, that's something else that I can do to try to add some interest. Just something like that. So there I'm starting to add some. I feel like I could grab a pencil, but I want to stay away from a pencil today. Let's see what can happen here. I'm going to continue some lines right here. and just see what happens as I continue some of these lines here. Like I said, this, this could be uncomfortable for some people, not seeing where you're going with this, but for some of us, it's pretty, it's very freeing. It's very freeing, kind of just go with it. Yeah. 
uh, Jude said, uh, this is where we start seeing faces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You start identifying things that are more familiar, huh? It can really kind of mess, mess with you psychologically. Start identifying things. Yep, I'm just going to fill this area with black, just entirely with black. I think that might be nice. But yeah, whenever I do this, I, I think a lot of like, uh, like Picasso. Where you know how to draw stuff. Maybe you, you're already good at drawing trees or landscapes, but sometimes bringing yourself outside of that comfort zone and drawing something a little more just composed of just shapes changes things quite a bit. Little dinosaurs and creatures and chickens. <laughs> They're going to start showing up real quick here. <laughs> oh, hello, Ron. Hello there. Oh, is it called pareidolia? It might be. I, f I feel like I've heard that word, but I can't quite confirm. You're probably right. Yeah, start noticing things. Probably right. Yeah. So we're just free, free form. And I know that for me in particular, the reason I like to do this is because it does actually give me ideas for things. I will likely discover something here that I will really enjoy and it will carry through into my regular, like my regular artwork. That's why I do this. Some things are familiar, some things are not. And I do enjoy finding those new things. And for me, this is the way that I do that. So that's always really nice. In the meantime, it's just kind of chaotic. It's nice. Yep, yep. <laughs> we are glad you're here, Ron. What's been up with you? What's up? What's up with all of you? What's up with everybody? At least maybe you get a day off, right? At least a day off, hopefully, because it's a holiday. So some of you who usually work, maybe you aren't working today. Oh, Sabina says, thank you for sharing your art. Learn so much from you. <laughs> you started doodling after watching my videos. So relaxing. No, I really, I'm really glad. Thank you. Yeah, Ron, you got your MacBook fixed. You're gonna do some art on that. That's what technology's for. I think it's for art. What else would we need it for? So you'll notice as the lines. Some get thicker, some get thinner. You start creating some more interest. So if you are trying some of this, if you are making some kind of strange doodles like I am, you may notice that just the addition of thick and thin lines can really create a lot of interesting stuff here. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying the videos. I'm glad. Of late, the less people have been visiting this channel, but I'm okay with that. I know that this isn't for everybody, but I'm glad that you're all here. I'm glad that you are here when you are here. Looks like dots and circles are a thing there. That's kind of neat. I like that. Jude, you just checked with Siri. Spelled it incorrectly. That's fine. <laughs> words Words are sometimes spelled really strangely. I'm going to include that. I think I'm going to do some stippling inside of there. Judy, you've been watching from the back 40. <laughs> Inspired you to draw after a long dry spell. Oh, you stopped at day 24? Yeah. 
Hey, it's your project. You can go as long as you need to or want to. I'm kind of stubborn, so when it's called a 100-day project, I keep going. Just out of stubbornness, for sure. But yeah, you could you could do yours as like just a 30-day project or something like that. That's fine, too. That's a thing. Maybe just like a 10-day challenge is also a thing. That's perfectly fine. It can be exhausting, for sure. There are some days when I just don't want to, but I, like I said, very stubborn. I just gotta keep going. Definitely. <laughs> Luxury by Lara. Lots of hearts. Thank you. Thank you, little hearts. Ron, English is... Oh, yeah. Ron, you have no idea. English is very weird. It's my second language, so I, I sometimes don't understand where these things come from. Especially when it comes to sentence structure. I can fake speaking it well enough these days because I've spoken it all most of my life, but I still don't understand some things in English sometimes. It is very weird. It's a weird language. There we go. Kind of filled in that spot there. Let's see what happens with that. Yep, yep. <laughs> the point of silent letters. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep. It's funny because I'm looking at my drawing right now and I'm thinking, you know, I could get my colored markers and I, <laughs> I can't. It's like I can't help it. I'm already thinking, oh, I could go get another thing and I can get a different thing. Even though I already said I was just going to use the one pen. I think that's the whole point of just getting started. Because if you can just get started then kind of the creativity will flow from there. Let's see here. I've got this kind of circle over here. Let's do some contour lines. Let's contour line our way through this part right here. There we go. Create sort of like a some kind of bubble, maybe? Maybe like a kind of bubble. A little bubble. I feel very, uh, I feel very Bob Ross today. Quite Bob Ross. Lovely little bubble. Like a kiwi, maybe. <laughs> we can make lots of, lots of happy mistakes today. With one pen. There we go. Maybe it's a watermelon. I don't know. Very shiny watermelon. There we go. At least it has a little bit of shape now. It's not just flat. Although flat's okay. Let's see. What are the crazy areas? Are there? I feel like I want some spots to start looking much darker now. Because there's still a lot of white on my page. So. I have a. I know I have other pens. But I will do as I promised. And just stay. Stay with this one pen. Gotta. Gotta really push myself here. So I'm just going to add to this right here. Maybe try to create a little bit of a. A gradient heading out from here about starting here maybe so I'll do some stippling and so heading out of there there shall be stipples these take forever though so see how how well I can do these just in that little spot no problem maybe it's a problem but it's not a problem There we go. Kind of, sort of. I'm getting there. It's hard to get a good gradient going when it comes to stippling. It's It requires some effort. 
I'm just glad that this pen can stipple. There are some pens that are just not good for this at all. So I'm gonna keep going there. Eh, I'll I'll take that. It almost looks like a like an octopus, like the head of an octopus. I'll put a circle here. I think I'm gonna continue the circles. The circles theme. That's pretty good. Yeah. Ron said you wish you had the facilities for languages. Hmm. I think you probably do. You probably do. Yeah, you have enough issues with English then <laughs> that's your only language. Yeah. It's It's interesting because I feel like we all could do it. A lot of people do it. It may just be with the amount of exposure you received when you were younger. Most of the time when people learn multiple languages when they're when they're young, it just carries through. It it almost has nothing to do with whether you could do it or not. It's just you were just exposed. But yeah. I got lucky. I was exposed to multiple languages, so it's it kind of helps. It helps. It helps me understand stuff. Sometimes not so much, but it helps, yeah. Zen Mama, you're monitoring yourself through it. Gathering supplies, setting up a place to do art, sitting at a table, watching YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know you're talking about, like, art. Working on your 100-day project. Yeah, you have to set up a zone. Set up a space for yourself. I'm going to rotate. Let's see what happens when I rotate. Do a little spinning here. So looking at it from this direction, what can I do that's different? Maybe, maybe, let's start changing some of these lines. Yeah, it's really good to have a space for yourself so that you can work. I have my desk and so that helps. I have a desk where I can work, much, much helpful. Otherwise, who knows? Who knows if I would ever get around to it so it doesn't make a lot of sense. Hi there, Mr. Zoo. Hello there. In Denmark, you have to learn English and German in school. Wow. Is that just from when, from when you're very little? Or because I know some of us around here, we do, we do have an opportunity to learn an ex like an additional language when we're in high school. So that's as teenagers. But do you learn those languages since you're little? That's really good. I wish they could do that around here. Because especially where I'm at here in California, everybody speaks Spanish. So it's kind of silly that they wouldn't want to have kids uh, learn Spanish at school. There's a lot of people who are against it. They think that people should only speak English here. And so the kids, only English. Thankfully, when I was a kid, I did... Uh, I was in a program that was for English integration when I was very, very little because I did come to the United States very little and I didn't know a single word of English. So for about two years, they put me in, in an English integration program. So that was very nice. I, I was exposed to both languages at the same time while I got used to, while I got used to English. I kind of wish everybody had that. Everybody get integrated into multiple languages. Yeah. <laughs> Our Beth, you have a therapeutic voice. Thank you. I I'm trying. <laughs> I'm very much trying. I know somebody mentioned this last time that there there are some maybe they mentioned it or it could have just been that I inferred it, but it seems like a lot of YouTubers or a lot of people who who share content uh, on social media, they're just kind of always yelling or they're always being loud and bombastic or loud and obnoxious or loud. I don't want to be loud. Yeah, my my goal is that we can all just kind of hang out calmly. That's my goal. So I appreciate that. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you very much. This is this is starting to happen. It's starting to happen now. I'm noticing a little more depth, a little more things going on. So I think this is pretty good. I'm going to repeat this on this side here. So 
We'll see here what happens. I think that's going to be good. Ron, you were... Oh, Canadian. That's right. You're in Canada. Yeah, I'm just looking at your comment right now. You had to take French throughout school, but you can't speak it. What? It's... What? <laughs> How do you not speak it? Maybe that's just me. Although I will... I won't lie. Like, I don't speak Spanish as much as I used to. So sometimes it, it comes out a little weird. So I guess that makes sense. If you don't... If you don't use it, you lose it. Makes me wonder what places of the brain language is stored that it's so easy for it to kind of vanish if you don't you put you don't put it to use. I took French in high school, so I kind of know what that's like. I don't really speak French. I can understand a good amount of it because it's very similar to Spanish, so that's nice. Again, that's probably where my exposure to multiple languages as a kid really helped. I'm just going to keep going here. Line, 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 line. I'm going to make a mess. Why not? There we go. So this is helping give me some kind of deeper, deeper zones here where there's more black. So I'm hoping that that's helping. I'm hoping. I like that better when there's darker spots throughout. I've got some areas here. I've got some areas here that I can do that too as well. I'm going to start off with a lot of black right here. A lot of black. One pen. Today's the one pen day. It's the day for a single pen, so that's pretty good. Very nice. So it looks like 39 have joined right now, so thank you for all of you. Uh, if you are chatting in the chat box, thank you. If you are just quietly watching and doodling along, thank you. This is a calm Sunday. I hope you're having a good Sunday. And we're just going to doodle and chat, talk about our brains and languages and whatever comes up. Whatever comes up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> English is from first class and from fourth. Wow. No wonder. No wonder every time that I, I watch any kind of documentary or show that's covering something going on in Germany, there's always... Everybody always speaks English, and I'm always surprised. Like, does everyone just... Everyone just speaks English. Now I know. <laughs> I suppose I kind of just assumed. That's pretty good. It's pretty good to be exposed to that. I know that when I was learning teaching stuff, we did talk about some kind of programs that some schools have where they are fully integrated with multiple languages. Of course, being where we're at most of the time, it's English and Spanish. But I, I never actually visited one of those schools. I'd always hoped that I could work at one. But they are not uh, like standard schools. They're like little private schools where the kids. And I do remember seeing that there was a school where it was uh, Mandarin and and English for the communities where there were more, you know, more folks from, from those areas. So that was always really good. Never visited. I can only imagine that that's good for the kids. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> Ron, you wish you could. <laughs> you weren't immersed. You needed friends. I'm sure, Ron, if you had friends that spoke French, you'd be speaking French right now. I'm pretty sure of it. Sometimes that's all it is, is just the people around you will influence influence you over the years very very easily to be to learn a language that way <laughs> <Our myth. laughs> your windows are open the birds are singing your cats are <laughs> the cats are soaking up the sun yeah 
That is a good day, isn't it? That is a very good day. Finally know that spring is here. Finally knowing that the weather is going to warm up. That's a good day. Yep. The sun will be joining me again in a few days. This, the rain will end. So yeah, that should be nice. Very, very nice. Zen Mama, you started learning French in fourth grade. And then two years of language prior to ninth grade, you get a year high school credit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like different places have different uh, different things available, huh? Every place is different. It is important. There are way too many languages. It's kind of silly to only learn one. Very important. Interesting. Oh, Jan. Yes. Sunday. We're here. Hello, Jan. Thank you for joining us. Yep, yep. We're just... You can see it's very uh, actually abstract. Actual doodles we're doodling. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Jude, bank holidays. Oh, you get a bank holiday in the UK, yeah. As long as it's a day off. As long as it's a day off. That's what matters, right? I know there was... There we go. I'm, and like, my brain is trying to do way too many things right now. So my words are... My words are getting muddled. I'm thinking of this shape right here. I like that. It's a very simple shape. I'm going to add another one here. Why not? If I like a shape, I should make more of it. Why not? Make one more. Holidays are the best part. Best, best part are the best part. <laughs> Zen Mama, you had deaf, deaf friends in college and they taught you ASL. Wow, that's really good. I know a tiny bit. I know a little bit of ASL. I haven't practiced in a while. There there were a couple of years where I did, I, I did have that. It's a good one to have, ASL. It is. It's a very good one to have. Although I know that sign language is different in different countries, but it is, it's still good to have. There are many similarities. Yeah. Because I learned American Sign Language and then I, I ended up... Um, I ended up kind of chatting with someone who knew Mexican Sign Language. So that was... <laughs> that was interesting. There were enough similarities that we could, we could chat, but it was, it was hard. He was a kid of one of my friends, and he was a really sweet kid. Different kind of sign language. There we go. So I did a bunch of those. I like that. I like that. I want to do that somewhere else. Let me find a, a somewhere else. Maybe right here? Maybe? No? Yes? No. This is difficult. How about here? I choose this place right here. This one's good. I just hope you all realize that I struggle with this. <laughs> as much as I love it, I still struggle with it. There's there's a lot of uncertainty when you're doing this kind of drawing, but this is exactly why it ends up being so satisfying. The the uncertainties create even more rewards. Like that. There we go. I think I like that. I think I can make room right here for one more, like a little one. It's not very little. It works though. I think it works. It's okay. We'll just let it be right here. And we can keep going from there. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. I think I missed a couple of comments. Yeah. I'm going to go back real quick. Zen Mama. Oh, okay. New York State. Nice. Nice. And then Zen Mama also said, love the different dimensions. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? It's crazy. If I add shading, oh, I'm going to already start deviating. If you have some gray, you can start adding even more. This is just a gray uh, kind of marker. If you start adding grays, it does more. 
it isn't always lines that give you its uh, its grays. I'm just adding this here real quick so you can see. You could use a pencil too, of course. You need whatever you got. Use whatever you got. A little bit of grays. But yeah, dimensions, kind of some depth. A little crazy stuff going on. Jan mentioned it's called Swoop, if you were able to make dot art. Swoop? Swoop? Is that like a technique or is it a like a pattern? A technique or a pattern? Swoop, huh? Hmm. Dot mandalas. That's pretty nice too. That's nice too. Those are cute. For some reason I've never felt like I've had the I've had it for that. I like watching people make dot mandalas. That is it is very satisfying, but I'm not sure I would ever have the have it, like to do it. Maybe someday, right? Maybe someday. It'd be nice. Just gonna add a bunch of lines here because I feel like it. Right here. All up right here. Why not? I'm already here. There we go. Give a little bit more depth. Almost like there's a shadow. It's deeper right there. And I think that's what kind of happens with these sort of crazy little doodly drawings is You'll notice spaces where you think you can do something more. And don't be afraid. So I have these lines here. I'm just going to go with it. Just continue those kind of dashes here. Add more sort of shading, more dimension. It's okay if I already drew a pattern there. No worries. We can layer these on like that. Just a little darker. Yeah. Zen Mama said you studied French. Yeah. You understand other languages. Yeah, same thing here. Same, same. Same, same. For sure. Yeah. Knowing Spanish from my, from my family, obviously from my childhood, helps me kind of gather, gather information from other languages. It is. It helps a lot. It's all Latin-based languages. Pretty good. As opposed to like Germanic, which I think is so interesting the way, the way different people learn languages together. It's really interesting. Yeah. In half an hour, it's Monday in Denmark. <laughs> yeah, it's almost the next day. Yeah, for me here, it's still uh, two thirty-eight, two thirty-eight. So for you, it's eleven thirty-eight. Yeah, you're on the other side of the world, aren't you? You're all the way over there pretty far away huh I know we were talking here the other day about how kind of literally magical it is that we can communicate across the across the whole world like that it's magical it's crazy apparently I'm using the gray one now apparently that's what's happening no regrets I promised I'd use one pen, and then this happened. Shamelessly. So yeah, this, if you want to see what kind of pen this is, I guess this is the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Kuretake. Kuretake pen. This one came with a set. I know I've shared it with you guys. It was like an Inktober set, probably. I bought a couple of these, and this pen is nice. Nice little gray. I'll see how it layers. I just need to let it dry because it's pretty damp now. Nice gray ink. It's good to play around. Good to play around. I think that's actually why I put away the rest of my pens. I didn't want to have to end up using them all. Okay, there's a circle. I gotta figure out what to do with that circle. <laughs> Okay, Jen is saying that the design is when you paint a dot and drag down a tail. Oh, so kind of like these little black ones. That makes sense. Yeah, but with painting. I, I know what you're talking about now. I got it. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be really nice. And dot mandalas are on your bucket list. Yeah. I bet it requires a lot of concentration. A lot of concentration, which is good. It's good to do that. It's not bad. I know people paint them on rocks. 
They look kind of nice. I just never know what to do with said rocks. If I were to paint rocks, what would I do with them afterwards? <laughs> what would I do? Yeah. Jan said, not nearly as hard as one may think. Lots of artists on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the point is just uh, probably if you want to do it. Do you have the time and do you want to do it? You could probably figure it out. You got this. You got it. I'm going to put some gray around this guy. He's asking for a gray outline. He's just asking for it. So I will do that. Asking for it. Right there. Yep. I think just like with anything, sometimes it comes down to your determination. You know, how much, how much do you want it? How much do you want it? Yeah, this is starting to look kind of interesting. There's a lot of little goodies going on here. I'm trying to figure out which, uh, which ones to go to next. Because it is kind of all over the place, there's no central space where there's any kind of main design, there's nothing to kind of draw the gaze. There's nothing that does that. I believe I'm going to just do something kind of big here with just some contour lines because I can. I'm eventually going to add that kind of that border and that'll help It'll help keep things contained. But for now, I'm going to skip that border. Yes, yes. Oh, hello. I missed a couple of messages. Just a couple. D. Hodgson. D or die? D. D or die. From New Zealand. Hello. <laughs> hello there. Yeah, this doodle is kind of crazy, isn't it? It's nice. It's nice to kind of just let loose. Just, just see what happens. Yeah, the Rain Gallery or Mandala Affair. Interesting. Rain gallery with an E. Rain gallery. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I hope that you're you're doodling or drawing along or you could be painting. Composing. Making art. You could be crocheting. You could be knitting. You could be making stuff. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I'm just trying to keep things relaxed. It's better to relax, especially during the holidays. There's so much going on. Yeah, for sure. The gray shading. Yeah, Zen Mama. The, the gray adds a whole lot more, doesn't it? It's it's always surprising. Just a little bit of shading can, can start creating a different feel to it. Yeah, Jen says, oh, you're so creative. Thank you. This is what causes that. So if any of you are wondering, how can you... I'm trying not to sound like I'm kind of tooting my own horn. I don't actually like to do that. I don't feel like I'm an amazing artist. I'd like to feel that maybe I'm just a, an inquisitive artist. I I try to not be afraid of things. If there's something that I'm afraid of, like right now, I don't know what I'm doing. But I don't let that, you know, I don't let that stop me. And so I'm hoping that for those of you, if you're a little bit unsure... You can do anything you want. You can do anything that, even if you think it might come out weird, just do it. Just do it. And as you allow yourself permission, you got to give yourself permission to try things out. Your creativity is also going to kind of flourish. And I think that's the whole point. You gotta give yourself permission to let that flourish. But thank you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna add some gray. It's happening. Let's do some gray. <laughs> yeah. Our bath. Some people leave them in the park for others to find. Oh, you're talking about the rocks, are you? Yeah. Like a little like a little present. I've seen that. I've seen that. I know that there was a time when we uh I discussed maybe making little drawings 
this this had to have been months ago, sometime last year. I remember seeing uh, an artist who would sketch while he was at a coffee shop, and then he would sign it and leave it for who whomever would, you know, whoever was going to pick it up. It was a gift. It sounds really nice. I'm just never at a coffee shop. I wish I could be, and I could have little like little cards with nice little drawings. It's just like a little gift. That would be nice. A little painted rocks. A little for unsuspecting victims. Yeah, that would be nice. Hi, Dashi. Hello. Yes, you're here. Yeah, we've been here quite a while already, for about 45 minutes. So pretty soon I'm going to be wrapping it up. I'll be wrapping it up in just a little bit. But I'm glad you're here. Hello. Yeah, you've tried dot mandalas. Pretty much. <laughs> Dashi, you're going to vibe. You have a headache. Yeah, that's not good. I've kind of got that going on a little bit too. So I, I know what it, I know what that feels like. That's pretty bad. I know you've mentioned as well that you get uh, some of the same kind of headaches that I get. So vibing is good. Make sure you drink lots of water. You probably need that probably need it I guess that goes for everybody drink water are you human drink some water that is the message of today it's so easy to get dehydrated I think I'm really feeling the look of having all these kind of lines radiating outward, kind of just growing out. That may be a thing that I do as I kind of continue with these. Just kind of grow outward like that. It'll help really kind of center everything with all these lines just kind of growing out that way. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe who knows? Maybe, maybe. Just trying to just trying to identify parts here that make sense. That is all. Let's fill that one in. That might work. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. Mm. I, I'm Dr. Leans? Dr. Leans? I don't know if the Dr. stands for doctor, but Dr. Leans. How long have you been drawing, asks. Um, wow. If you're asking how long right now, 45 minutes, but I'm pretty sure that's not what you're asking. Mm, I've been drawing my whole life. I am in my late 30s now. Yeah. On and off. I I have drawings from when I was quite little, and they were I already was doing kind of portraiture when I was in third and fourth grade. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember where I have it, but I, I remember... I think it was the fifth grade I had a couple of friends all my girlfriends in the fifth grade we were all very artistic we decided to draw ourselves as a group together on one page and we apparently all knew how to draw realistically and yeah there was a drawing that we did that way I don't think I have that now though I haven't seen that in such a long time. I might not have it, but I clearly recall in the fifth grade we could do realism. We drew all of our portraits. So I definitely have been drawing. I've been drawing for a long time. I can't help it. I can't help it. It's something drives me. I'm sure some of you guys feel that too. There's just something. It's like a it's like a necessary thing, just like you eat every day. So that may be why I'm, I feel a little more like I can explore things. It's because I've been doing it for such a long time. I was a kid. Yeah, definitely. Zen so Mama's asking, love that you don't let your fear get in the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it helps. It helps to not be afraid. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I think I'm just going to mess it up, but I, I have to push that aside. Yeah, I remember when I was in high school, I did portraits of people. 
So some of you may be wondering, because you're seeing me doodle. Like, I'm just doodling with a pen. It's abstract. It's weird. I, I can draw realism. I've, I did it in charcoal. I used to do portraits of people. I used to sell portraits. It gets, uh, for me at least, it got boring. Simply recreating what was already there. I just didn't, it didn't feel like there was anything interesting. So I, I have a tendency to really enjoy these kind of abstractions and just weird, crazy things. That's, that's just me. That's just me. It's been a long time. I've been doing this for such a long time. Yeah, moved to a few places. You moved? You moved? You moved house? You're somewhere else? Ron. Ron says they have color changing ink. Color changing ink? I mean like ink that maybe with the temperature changes or something like that? I've never heard of that. Color changing ink, huh? Interesting. Deshi, water and tea, yes. Get hydrated. Hydrate. Always hydrate. I probably need to go have some tea right now. That sounds really good. Pollen. Pollen everywhere, yep. Thank you. Diarlene says, love your work, have great intuition. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. It's... Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, you know? <laughs> sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. I think that's probably the point of this 100-day project, is that I, I have to push myself. I have to break away from the, the one thing I want to do. I want to make pretty things. I want things that are pleasing, and then sometimes... At least those of you who've been following my project, uh, we're kind of a, we're on day forty three right now. If you've seen the stuff I've created, it has shifted. It shifts. It's good. It's good. I'm I'm trying to challenge myself. I'm trying trying things. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. And thank you. I appreciate the comments. Yeah. Hello there. Ooh, Kath. I see Kath. I see Natasha. Yeah. Hello. Hello, you guys. Thank you for joining. We're drawing a weird thing and it's kind of fun. It's fun to make a weird thing. It's very nice right now. Yeah, hello there. Pepper asks, have you ever doodled on black paper with gel? I have. It's a lot of fun. I have. I have done that. It's good stuff. It's the contrast is super different, but you can create some of a lot of these same these same kind of effects for sure i believe that i posted uh some videos recently where i did where i kind of created like a black uh what i call it black background using some kind of like a black paint or mixture of black paint and then i finally got my gel pen to work definitely that's another way to do this kind of thing that's one other way I'm trying to figure out this weird spot here. What do I do with it? I'm going to fill it with circles. Nailed it. I figured it out. Finally going to put some texture in here. I'm going to do the circle circle thing that I love to do so much. So, Yeah. Painting white onto black really helps reset your brain sometimes too. In case you can, you're kind of in a rut and you don't know. Yeah, drawing backwards essentially. It's good stuff. So there we go. Just putting little like pebbles in there. That's kind of what that looks like. Yeah. Ron, some do that. Yep. Deshi, the rain's about to wash things away. Yeah, you're probably feeling what I feel when, when the clouds come and go. It causes some, some pressure changes and you might end up with headaches. Or it could just be like the pollen, as some people mentioned. The pollen... It's washed away, and you might get better. For me, I think it's more that the, the air pressure is changing, and then I end up with headaches. It's rough either way. It's rough either way. <laughs> oh, Pepper, you're, 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 you're doodling on black paper. Nice. Yeah, so yours is kind of more backwards, huh? 
you've got light colors appearing on a dark background. That's nice too. That would be nice. I should try that for the next one. Going to paint the background black. Bring out a couple of gel pens, see if they work, because some of my gel pens don't work. I might find out then which ones. Which ones work? I'm going to rotate. I am going to rotate right here. I'm trying not to be too careful with my doodles. I'm just kind of throwing them in there. So you'll notice they're a bit messy. I'm not worried about that. Messy, messy, messy. I'm going to continue a little bit of this stippling here. Why not? Messy stippling. It looks like stubble. Almost like a shaved chin. A little bit of stubble. But it's just dots. Stubble dots. It's called stippling, though. I'm okay with that right there. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. A little weird and a little wonderful. I'm just adding extra lines. I think it looks nice when there's more lines. Exactly. <laughs> Ron just found a new pen. Double line outline pen. Huh. Interesting. You moved north. Ah, yes. Jude said, I can't figure out why, but this has a Japanese look to it. Does it now? Let's let me look. Yeah, I could see I could see that. I can see that. Maybe it's because it's just uh it's ink work, maybe the ink work part of it maybe. Yeah, I could see that. That's interesting. Our Beth says just by being who you are, you add value. Oh, thank you. <laughs> In a world of cacophony. Lovely to watch someone create. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. I do. I actually do appreciate that. I hope you guys know that I mean that. I appreciate that. Everything feels so loud sometimes. And even for someone who's maybe... You could be neurodivergent or not. It's still... Everything feels loud these days. I never felt that way when I was younger, so I'm glad you're I'm glad you enjoy that. I'm trying to create just a little bit of a little peaceful space. Definitely. Deshi says it's the pressure changes. Oh yeah, with your headache. Yep, yep. Yeah, I feel that too. And you can feel it like right as the clouds roll in. Sometimes I watch I watch the clouds roll in. And and I can count the minutes as as I can feel my headache kind of pulsing as the clouds roll in. It's crazy. Some people are sensitive to that. Apparently you and I are some of those people. You could count on me to be able to tell you if the clouds are rolling in, even if my eyes were closed. I would be able to tell you. The instant when the headache starts. It's so weird, yeah. Send Mama, you invested in some jelly roll pens? Nice. They dried up? Oh, so they happened to you too. See, I thought I was crazy. I thought I was crazy that the jelly roll pens... Everybody loves them for some reason, or maybe maybe something happened. Do they make them differently now? Yeah, I thought I was crazy. I thought every they were supposed to be good pens, and then I've just never had luck with them. I knew it. I've bought other pens that dry up too, though. It's not just those. There's a lot that dry up. Yeah. Hmm. Deshi... Um, what is it? Pen, pen and color pencils. Hmm. I'm going to look through a couple of comments real quick, just because I know there's, there's some comments. Ron, oh yeah. <laughs> some chatty chat with Ron. Ron's here with us today. For sure. I'm liking this crazy little thing. It's almost like a... Something someone would wear on their head. Whatever this is. Whatever it be. 
some kind of headdress. It looks kind of interesting. Yeah, for sure. Migraine. Are you, is everybody having headache right now? Is that it? Are we all in headache land? It's pretty bad, huh? Zen Mama, you have a friend who experienced changes with weather. Yeah. 12 hours in advance. Yeah, same here. I can start feeling it. I remember years ago when I would mention this to some people and I would tell them that my that I could feel that it was like pressure. I could feel the pressure and then unfortunately that would change my mood and I would get kind of depressed because I just felt horrible. And some people thought I was joking. They thought I was nuts. It's like, yeah, 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 that's funny. Sure, the pressure makes you feel depressed. You know how it is when someone doesn't understand. And so I was quite surprised when recently I saw that I wasn't the only one, that there are other people who feel that. So I'm getting a little bit more confirmation right now, too. So you guys know people, too. Yeah. <laughs> Suffer together. Yeah. I can feel my ears popping right now, too. It's starting. I think the clouds are shifting, too. It's starting. It's a good time to take a nap. Because I know for me personally, if I take anything for it, it won't help at all. A Tylenol won't help. I, you know, ibuprofen, nothing. Nothing helps. Just my luck. All I can do is just try to... Just try to deal. Or take a nap. I guess whatever works. When the weather would break, she'd finally get relief. Yeah. Yep. It's the only way. It's the only way. <laughs> Ron feels the loves. There is much love here for you, Ron. And for all of you. There is much love here. This is a, a, a friendship zone. <laughs> I, I, I used to have a friend who wrote... Actually wrote a friend of mine actually wrote a novel. It was really nice and he would talk to me about it and he told me that it was when I asked him what's what's your book about? He told me it's about the power of friendship and I, <laughs> that sounds so sweet. I understand now. It's very much a, a common theme in uh, anime, I think. The power of friendship. It's true though. I won't lie, it's true. I understand now. There is power in that. I like that thing. Whatever that thing is, the, the thing that's occurring here, I like it. It's good stuff. I like that one. I will. I think that one's going to go into the, the encyclopedia of Betsy's much-enjoyed designs. I like that one a lot. That's pretty good. Definitely. Barbara. Oh, your first live. Hello, Barbara. Hello. Yeah, we're going to, uh, we're just about going to wrap up in a bit, I think, actually, because it's been an hour. We've been doodling. Look at this craziness. Weird stuff, cool stuff. This is a lot of fun. If we have time, I probably will add color if I have time. Yeah, we've been doodling for about an hour. Yeah, just kind of chatting along, having fun. Yeah, Deshi was asking about a good white tool that works well with color pencils and pen because you got this jelly roll. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Dashi. I get it. Yeah. For white. Uh, I, I know I've shown it to you before. You, you may be hesitant. This is it. This is the one Dashi. You'll need a dip pen or a brush, but this is definitely it. This covers over anything. And you'll learn, uh, sometimes you want to add water, sometimes not. But if you're thinking, you may want a pen that already has something in it. But still, this is, in the end, it's this. This is going to be it. That's when you, when you guys see me using this little, this little dip thing, it's because I have some of that ink in here. That's the white that always works. The other white that always works, you've seen me use this before, is acrylic gouache. Titanium white. It is a very solid white. I use a little brush and then I just kind of dot, 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 dot. 
Those are the ones. Those are my favorites. I definitely recommend them. If that's what you were wondering, yeah, definitely. So I think that those are, that's it for today. That's it, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing some of you are sharing some of your recommendations, your favorite pens. Yeah, so check those out. If any of you need something like that, some nice white pens, some gel pens. Those are the things. I generally don't use too many gel pens these days. I seem to prefer using a brush. I prefer using a dip pen. That's me. That's just me, though. Yeah, that's just me. You don't have to do this. You might want to try some of the things that other people are recommending there for sure, yeah. It looks like Uniball, yeah. There might be other things. Just a little brush, if you can ever find one. If you don't find little brushes, you can just get one that's kind of normal size. So it's just a sort of small, and usually I'll take scissors, and snip some of this away. And uh, I'll kind of make my own little brush. But they sell them too. They make some. See how teeny tiny that is? They're out there. It's an investment, but it's worth it. I think it turns out really nice. So I think that is it for today. Thank you all so much for joining. Thank you so much. I hope you have an excellent uh, Sunday or maybe Monday, depending on where you're at. It might, it might be Monday already. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to go and maybe just kind of read a book for a little bit. I think today is a book reading day. Yeah, I think so. And then maybe later I can finish this, add a few more details, and I'll show it to you tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. You can check the schedule. If you don't remember what the schedule is, it is in the description. So for tomorrow, Monday, again at 2 o'clock, I will go live and you can join me and we can doodle again for another hour. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.